Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind and today we are going to be checking out another viewer request from Mr. Derpy. Thank you very much for submitting this viewer request. It's, it was a very fun one to work out. And I want to say also thank you everybody for helping me hit over 500 subscribers. I'm almost at 600 right now. Thank you so much. But the way we're going to do this is you take your redstone, you place it down. Obviously, you will be hiding all of your boats and hose down here. I don't know what else you would be using this for. Obviously, that's what it's for. But anyways, you put your redstone down on that one block, it opens up your trap door, you can fall down. And as you can see, the redstone, if you don't do a lot of redstone, it looks a little bit complicated, but trust me, after we do this tutorial, you will be able to understand and build this thing all by yourself. So, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look in this chest over here, and see what items we are going to be needing for the build. We are going to need four, 34 pieces of redstone, 14 sticky pistons, 10 redstone repeaters, 5 redstone comparators, 1 redstone torch, 53 circuit blocks, 1 hopper, 1 dropper, 1 observer, 1 non-stackable item, doesn't have to be a wooden sword, I think wooden shovels are the very cheapest, 1 slime block, 4 obsidian, 1 lever, 1 button. Then of course you will also need your decoration blocks. So let's go ahead and grab this stuff and then jump on into the tutorial. And now that we are back, we are going to be starting things off with a 10x10 area with, of course, you will need some kind of natural landscaping over here to hide one sticky piston. This block right here will be our input, then one, two, three blocks away from that, and then turn one, two, three blocks away from your dirt hill on the fourth block that will be the top corner of your 2x2 trapdoor. So just break it out just as I have done right there. It won't be that hard to follow, I don't think. You guys are pretty smart. So there we go. Go down. One block away from your hole, place your four sticky pistons, just like that, in a 2x2 two two fashion on both sides. And then place two sticky pistons on those bottom two facing up. On top of those pistons, you will place your dirt blocks, or if you're using this inside of your house, place your flooring blocks, whatever you're going to be doing. But, there we go, we've got that done, now we will go ahead and build this down. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five blocks down. Now I am going to tell you that five blocks down, dropping down is actually going to be enough to give you a little bit of damage in survival, but if you land on top of the slime block, it takes a little bit of practice to do it smoothly and easily. Uh, you will not take any damage at all from this design, so keep that in mind. There we go, now that we have got that all finished up, we are going to go ahead and start working on the first powering of these pistons right here. So we got that one and that one. They will push forward into these two blocks and that, we want those to be powered automatically. Because they will also need to be the first ones that become unpowered. So we're going to go ahead and build a 2x2 two two platform right here, stuff two repeaters staring at those blocks that I was just talking about. Mirror that on the opposite side just like this. 2x2, two two, repeaters, redstone running into them. Next, we are going to take our circuit block, run off of that redstone out a little bit like that, drop it down one block, and then run it all the way over to connect these two repeater lines together. So we'll do that real quick. And after we get all of this connected up like that, we are just going to run our redstone line all the way through to connect these two up together. After that, all we have to do is power our four sticky pistons on each side, so we will just break off of this redstone line like that, run it up, put two blocks on the back of those two sticky pistons, that's very important, and then run it just like this into a repeater set to three ticks. That is very important. Set it to three ticks. I guess you could set it to four ticks, but three ticks is about the fastest you can make it. After that, we are going to go ahead and connect up these four pistons back here by branching off right here. We will place a block right there, go ahead and place our blocks on the back of these sticky pistons, and up just like this in a staircase fashion. So there we go. We got that branched up, we are going to place a repeater right here set to three ticks, and then redstone on all of these blocks. And that is actually, believe it or not, 
everything all wired up for our opening and closing sequence. So if you actually power this <clears throat> right about here, you can see our trapdoor is totally closed. Unpower it, and our trapdoor is totally open. So there we go. All we have to do is build our redstone key system that we are going to be doing for this design. So here we go. That yellow wool indicates our input block. We will place a lever just like that that will be powered. So as you can see, that powers the redstone. We will take a uh, output from a repeater that is sitting on top of an observer's face, just like so. So whenever that happens, the observer detects the repeater and uh, the repeater turning on and sends a signal out behind it but we are actually also going to use the repeater's signal in general to power this piston right here so if I place that you can see bam powers it and we can do this infinitely it will just keep on powering and breaking our redstone that's exactly what we want so that everything is totally hidden back up so here we go <clears throat> we will branch down like that, put a block on the back of the observer, and then off to the side of that block we'll have a dot of redstone. Right here we'll have a hopper running into a dropper. Place your non-stackable item right there. Does have to be non-stackable. So there we go. We'll go ahead and place a comparator outputting from the hopper. And then two blocks just like this, redstone on the top of those two blocks. And we are going to go ahead and place a redstone torch on the side so that this thing is actually always closed unless we place our redstone down. So that just inverts the signal, has this thing totally closed up. We'll go ahead and place blocks down on the bottom of this, just in this fashion. Be six blocks like that. One up right here, we can go ahead and remove that block. So we'll run two comparators running into that block, two comparators running into back into the redstone that way and then connect it with this one dot of redstone right there and that is actually that system all done if we swap this back out with whatever floor block you can see it's totally hidden away and if we grab ourselves a piece of redstone and chuck it down right here after covering up that piston chuck it down right here you can actually see it opens up very briefly but enough for us to get in and nobody to follow us in here so there we go now all we have to do is stick a button right here and build an input for us to get out of this place. We will place our piston right there. You don't need two pistons, I'm just going to remove that one later. Slime block right there. Uh, this does need to be a sticky piston, by the way. Place your immovable objects right there, and there, there, and there. Now this does not have to be obsidian, but it definitely does have to be immovable. Now swinging around back here, the next thing we are going to do is first off we're going to remove this bottom sticky piston because I did not mean to really put that there. The next thing we are going to do is place a block right there that is right under the block that is behind our button. There we go, we've got a piece of redstone dotted on there. Sticky piston next to that piece of circuit block uh, with a block on top of it. Then we're going to take a repeater output from that. This builds a monostable circuit. This will send us a one tick pulse. And we will build a redstone ladder coming up here and linking up to this redstone right there. So let's go ahead and put redstone all the way down this. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. That will send a t one tick pulse up to that uh, hopper dropper setup, which will in turn open our trap door. Next, we want... To build down a ladder just kind of like this, we'll fill that with redstone in just a second, but place two blocks right there, so there we go, redstone right there. These are going to need to be uh, two repeaters on four ticks. The reason for that is because we want to give this time for our door to open before it launches us up upwards. So here we go, let's give it a quick test run. And there we go, that actually worked very well. That's perfect timing. There we go, drops in, and there we go, that's all we got to it. If you did find this video useful, please do hit that like button, leave me a comment, and please do subscribe to the channel, it helps me a whole bunch. But thank you for watching, this has been Rob's Mind, and I'm out.